All right, so second video of the day. Um, this is, uh, I'm going to continue putting these out on Tech Edu Tips, but these are really mo mostly for my students. Um, I'm doing a thing of uh, two tools per week, one in soft for software engineers, one for security. And so I might as well just blast them out as well on Tech Edu Tips. So I want to talk about Keybase. I'm not sure if I have before. I know for some of you students, I've talked to you about this before, but some of the students are new, and so I'm going to re reinforce this. Um, so Keybase end to end encryption in terms of you can use this for instant messaging, you can use this for encrypting and decrypting and signing files uh, in, in terms of pretty good privacy. So this is Keybase. I'm running it on a browser mode right now on my computer here on a Windows 10 desktop. So this is my profile. You could find me. You could check and see uh, if this really is me based on me posting proofs that this is me in various locations and you can take a look into that and I recommend you do as well. Um, I notice I've got some of the followers here that are students that are currently in my class and so I recommend you look at this. Uh, so if I'm using Keybase also you can install Keybase on a desktop. Uh, I'll give you a quick view of that here in a second but there's some tools too so you can go to the tool button here and I can encrypt a message to somebody or multiple people and I could send a message, encrypt it and send it to them. You could use the Keybase command line program of course if you choose so. Um, decrypt and sign are not available to me because I'm in lockdown mode um, which is something I've been looking at how to set up lockdown mode so that certain features are disabled in the browser for more security. If you're in a default configuration you won't have this um, so there's that. So let me just quickly um, bring up the installation of Keybase. All right, there we go. So we've got the app running. So what I want to do is I don't want to create an account because I already have one. I want to log into my account. So my account is this one. And now it's pretty tightly configured so that um, I need to prove who I am. So I do have Keybase installed on my mobile, so it should allow me, um, let me just run the app here on my mobile device. Okay, there we go. And so I've got it running on my mobile device. I should be able to verify, um, and I'm going to call this Windows Work Device. Um, it's it's notice this is a public um, visible feature or visible name of your device so you might not want to be too specific about it so there we go on the mobile I'm gonna go devices authorize a new phone so let's go to devices authorize a new phone uh, Okay, devices, there it is. Devices, add device. I can add a, a computer and then I'm going to scan this in. There it goes. So now I'm logged in. It was that simple. All right, as soon as I can find the right menus. But there we go. So now I'm using my um, Windows app to do a lot of the same features. So if I go to crypto here now, I could encrypt and decrypt because I'm not using the web interface I'm using a um, an app okay so now uh, because I'm in lockdown mode that disables that on the web I've decided on that future mainly because I was playing around to see what options exist and there you go so um, I invite you to find me on Keybase you can add me and uh, take a look at signing documents be, be uh, uh, the tools available inside of Keybase and that'll be it for today and we'll close out this video for now